so this mission is called Monarch Airfield. Come on. And, um, hmm? This mission is an air assault operation onto an air base that is held by Syrian special forces and um, also regular troops. There's also sometime later on during this operation, it's said that the air base will be um, relieved by a large militia force project from the uh, southeast. And my forces consist of, um, I think it's pronounced Gibber, uh, Gibber Jager, Gibber Jager. They're uh, German Alpine troops. Uh, they're, they're essentially special forces. I'm just overviewing the AO here. You can see that um, all the objectives are named after breeds of dog. We just passed over Pinscher. Now we're going over to Doberman. Each objective is fortified. There's trenches. Surrounding the objectives. There's also um, military style buildings and barracks, and some of them are also have walls surrounding them. The real challenge for this mission is going to be coming up with a sound concept of operations. And the main problem lies in the fact that there is no cover between uh, the LZ and the air base. So what I decide to do is is I decide to simply create a smoke screen across the open field and then rush uh, my lead platoon all the way across the open field towards a uh, little walled building in the center of the air base. And I'm going to use that as my stepping off point to execute an assault on the airbase proper. The first phase will consist of uh, securing the radio tower or the air control tower. And the second phase will be uh, consolidation by uh, clearing each building that happens to be in the compounds. Starting off, I'm going to take the platoon, the lead platoon, and I'm going to position the MG3 and the sniper team in a overwatch. Meanwhile, uh, the forward observers that are attached to the platoon will also be put into overwatch. The intent here is to get eyes on all approaches, and then with the rest of the platoon, rush across the field as quickly as possible using short bounds, or correction, long bounds. With an air assault operation, you want to get out of the open as quickly as possible, especially in this terrain. Uh, the, the LZ is in the middle of a field. And it's across from a series of high-rise buildings. Chances are the enemy are going to have eyes on me as soon as the mission starts. <clears throat> and since I'm opposing Syrian special forces, they have night vision and other optics that will allow them to see in the dark. So if you were to remain stationary in one position, you would be mortared. I'm going to rely on the violence of action to surprise the enemy before they can man all these forward positions. They're probably going to be in the barracks along the air base. Probably not going to be manning the buildings that are in the foreground. And if they do try to run out of the barracks buildings to man the buildings in the foreground, I'm going to try to pin them down. Roger, route to by Apaches. 
I'm also, as I said before, I'm going to try to shield my advance by creating a quite a substantial smoke screen. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it would probably be best if the smoke screen was delayed by two or three minutes before the round started landing. But um, the only option for delay is five minutes. Feuer Anforderung im Kommen. Also Ende. Ten minutes, fifteen minutes, but um, there's no real option for two or three minutes. So I decided Feuer that five minutes would be kommen. too long and Feuer Anforderung five im Kommen. Ende. Ende. Almost to the end of their run, so I might as well just start the barrage immediately, even though that it's not needed exactly immediately, and it won't be as effective. It's gonna be Starting off here, I'm just going to immediately suppress all these buildings that are uh, opposed to my advancement across the field. This is similar to what you would do if you had a. If you had vehicles, you'd be suppressing all Ready to engage. Fire upon uh, your maneuver forces. Roger, cleared off. I was considering what my follow-up my follow-up attack is going to consist of because this is only the lead platoon I'm going to get um, three more platoons on the ground um, the first platoon that arrives is probably going to be used to exploit um, and reinforce the central attack that I'm making now on the airfield ready to engage I'm assuming that this assault out, Roger. You know, Clear to be effective. If I get cut down in the middle of the field before I can even reach the objective, then you know, then um, the sort of conservative approach to this attack is going to be following the defilade behind the roadside burn back uh, by the assembly area, and then following it around the objective area and attack from the flank. Great, great, great. Support, support, support. And the 
smoke screen is starting to dissipate. See if the if the smoke screen had been laid down a minute or two later, then it would have been perfect timing. And that's what I was talking about before. Meanwhile, I'm now bounding up the trail elements. Yes, and now enemy spotting rounds are landing. out of the field quickly, they're going to get lit up. Speed is key when you're talking about air assault. Luckily, the enemy has not been able to, you know, deploy all their weaponry, which I'm sure they have. Um, I'm sure Roger, they're setting up other weapons. Was, this is a surprise attack, and I was factoring that into my plan. Obviously, if I was attacking during the daylight, and you know, at attack position, the aggressive target be much different. But uh, since this is a a raid, and there's no real it's complete ready you know, to engage complete, uh, surprise factor. Roger, um, cleared so on the fact that they won't be ready to fire upon me for at least ten minutes. It takes about 10 minutes, um, by standard, very logically. Oh, 
So what I just spotted there is I spotted a, a round, a spotting round landing behind my battle position, and that's that's an indicator to me that I need to scoop those guys out of the way that are at the battle position in the open. There's only so much room in that building, and I would never put Achtung, the Aufschlag, kommen! That building. Aufschlag, Ende! RPG-29 shot in there. So I decided that I was going to take a risk and run this platoon across the field and get them to reinforce the other platoon. The reason why I had to risk is it's possible that since the beginning of the mission, um, you know, the enemy may have set up cruiser weapons in Overwatch and are manning those trenches uh, in front of the objective areas. This is a risk, um, but I figure the platoon that's there can provide fire support if if uh, the maneuver platoon gets interdicted. Also, I have faith in my aircraft and my air, my air support. Also, um, the rest of the forward observer section dropped with this platoon. Here was um, an RPG-29 just crashed into one of my sections. In response to that, I'm going to shoot some back about that building.
maneuver some forces forward so that I can effectively suppress those contacts. I'm going to go ahead and do some tasks to those forward observers. One of the forward observer teams is going to follow 1st Platoon down the center. He's going to uh, establish an OP there. I think here I'm going to designate the other forward observers uh, just to up onto the berm to provide uh, general overwatch. Same in the game here, because I had to, uh, I had to go AFK. So. Stand by for cash request. This is, uh, another preparatory cash request. Uh, just to ensure that the first platoon that's maneuvering doesn't get interdicted by any crew server. Stand by. I'm also going to call in some hellfire. Roger. 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 here is I'm splitting up this section because I, I don't want one RPG to kill the entire section. You know, I realize now after <laughs> seeing them fire an RPG uh, while being fired upon that they're not going to be easily suppressed and they're probably going to be firing more shots at me. Uh, you know, until that hellfire gets in there. same time that that RPG flew out and knocked out two of my guys, um, a heavy machine gun started firing upon my position Fire on for the across run. the road. So I'm going to go ahead and level that building. I notice there's more RPG fire coming from the building. There's another RPG team next to the building where the heavy machine gun is, and they're firing RPGs into the front of the compound that I'm at. Um, you know, <laughs> and that RPG just incapacitated another one of my troopers. Air burst ordnance in that area. Try to suppress and or destroy those contacts. I mean, this entire time I'm suppressing them. I'm firing at all of these contacts. At a tech position. At a tech position. And they're still they're still squeezing all rounds at me. 
That's one real weapon, guys. Ready to engage. Ready to engage. The stereotype over the blue floor. Roger. 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 It's a much better alternative than, say, something like the AT4. Some preparatory cast requests in that vicinity because Stand by for I'm going to be friend. moving first platoon in the position now. And Roger, around with the next station. Play off talk bandits, end it. And other areas on the right flank. Because uh, first platoon has arrived. I'm going to give them, they're just going to rest up at the FUP here and uh, get their stamina back. Then I'm going to be. Uh, deploying them into the fight, and you know their their presence is sorely needed because the first the platoon that I you know the lead platoon that initially sees this area, they are running super low on ammo. Um, almost everyone is wounded or incapacitated. So, um, but it, I honestly think it's worth it because if these special forces were to Get to the air, from, you know, the air traffic control tower or other or other overlock positions. Um, it would have been so bad. So I killed a lot of them out of the open. Overall, that probably saved lives. And again, again, the RPG team is going to somehow squeeze off the shot after like four hellfires crash into that building and hundreds of rounds of ammunition. And again, again, I you can pass one of my numbers. I now have five wounded in actions in that, in that section. The section is pretty much decimated. So at this 
point, I pretty much had enough. You know, I had enough of that building, and I hadn't been able to uh, kill the contact that is in there, and I don't have enough ammunition to continue to press it, so I'm just going to call it position. a fucking game in that building. second here. Yeah, here we go. Live from Castro Grant. Ready to engage. Roger, en route to IP. Roger, cleared hot. At attack position, ingress to target. At attack position, ingress to target. There's also target. other contacts in the surrounding building that are taking hot shots at me. Luckily, since this is a controlled situation, Ready to engage. Roger. in the open, you know, in the open Roger. I am able Clear to hot. provide medical assistance to all the soldiers that are incapacitated. At a tech uh, position, only one or two of them are actually killed. The other ones are eventually stabilized. Ready to engage. I'm now, sort of beginning the preparatory work to engage. for the attack Clear on hot. the objective picture and my Roger. Uh, Clear hot. My flanking. I'm planning on, I'm planning on, uh, you know, finish, basically attacking from the two sides. I'm attacking from left here, where the airbase, uh, proper is, and then I'm going to be attacking from the right, um, and attack right. position, ingress to target. Um, my and attack position, ingress to target. Uh, I don't know, well, in the trench positions, across the field. So, spotting rounds are landing uh, to interdict first platoon. So, again, that's my calling card, so to speak. That's my signal that I need to get out of the open, get into some cover. Um, Ready to engage. Roger. To actually clear Roger. the Clear compounds top. across the way. Aggressive while target. the lead platoon is going to provide a base fire. Inbound to attack. 30 seconds out. And during this entire time, my Apaches have just been constantly firing upon enemy positions. At attack position, ingress to target. Oh, so now what's happening here is there's an AGS firing upon me from somewhere, and I have no eyes on it. Ready to the game. There's a grenade ripping into first platoon. Roger, cleared hot. And it's accurate fire. It's causing damage. Ready to the game. Ready to the See, they, they got me really, really in a pickle here because I can't retreat backwards because there's mortars landing there, and I already started to move forward, so you just have to get out of the open and take cover. So I'm actually going to have to assault through the enemy interdiction fires, even if they're causing casualties, and right now I'm just guessing where the AGSs are, and I'm trying to suppress them with mortars. So I just I know that the Apaches are firing at targets in this area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hope and assume that Stand by for catch or crit. Um the AGSs are in these trenches. And you know, it's also a process of elimination. If I rushing from clear target, the trenches, Roger. they'll be Roger. fired upon exactly. I know that. The fire is coming from elsewhere. So these grenades are just ripping into first platoon. Um, I have about five casualties, and now first platoon is pinned down, and they're tired because they weren't given enough time oh, yeah, to rest at the FUP. This right here is a disastrous situation. Oh, yeah, to happen. End of. Um, ideally, what I would do now is create another smoke screen and move them. But I'm out of smoke ordnance, so I can't do anything. And my Overwatch elements are unable to spot the AGSs, so I'm pretty fucked.
Yet another platoon, third platoon, has arrived, and they have attached them an AGS themselves. So I'm going to put the AGS that came with their platoon up on the Overwatch, and the rest of the platoon is going to proceed on the right to link up with the second platoon. One of the platoons is going to act as an Overwatch element, it's going to remain on the berm. The other platoon is going to assault Objective Pinscher eventually. Once I feel it's safe to do so, Inbound to attack. I, you know, I'm seconds. very worried I'm just about coming. moving up anywhere because I'm just fly up and, uh, I know that there are AGSs sighted in in the field, and I have I'm to just coming. Them. I even have four of them up in the and control and tower, and they're unable to spot the AGSs, and they should be able to. So. Here we see the squad leader for that one section that got decimated is, is still one is stabilizing all of his troopers. You know. Achtung, it's awesome. Right. He's spending like 25 minutes to save everyone's lives. Meanwhile, I'm now doing a battle down Coming. assessment of my own forces that were interdicted by those AGSs. Site of a JDAM completely. Not gonna have to worry about that RPG team again. And I'm also gonna call in a JDAM on the building to the rear of the compound. That was uh, firing upon me. There's an uh, enemy command center. I'm calling a JDAM on that. Ready to engage. Meanwhile, right all the ordnance are called in by Objective Doberman, and those trenches are starting to come down. Spotting around the landing, and uh, the Apaches are rolling in hot. Situation because I can't. The only thing they have left is like hand grenades, 
they have just enough, just enough uh, ammunition to protect themselves. Those Apaches are going to be instrumental. So Dash one is in the bomb. Cross in the open was not fired upon by an AGS. Roger. Cleared hot. Uh, that leads me to believe that I killed the AGS that was firing on me originally. That's my hope. Amongst them is going to be that objective pincher is completely surrounded by a wall. By a, a uh, wall, the only entrance to the compound is from a small building across from uh, an extensive series of trenches on the left side of it. Um, what that tells me is, is that this is a heavily fortified compound. At that position, the rest is target. Very difficult. To some way of breaching the wall, and I don't have engineers with me or pioneers. Ready to engage. Some way of breaching the wall, and then I'm going to need a means by which to suppress the enemy inside. Now, there are
there are going to be weasels dropping at the LZ, but I don't have much experience with weasels. I guess, you know, this is my first time playing the mission, so um, I don't really know how weasels work. I know that in real life, uh, they're basically lightly armored, um, airdropped, you know, little fighting vehicles. Roger, cleared hop. But I don't think they can trade blows with cruiser weapons. I still suspect that there's a recent weapon. So I'm going to have to use that. So what happened here is... There's an SPG-9 um, in the trench on Objective Pincher. And it fired on the Overwatch platoon. Luckily, it didn't kill anyone. It didn't kill anyone. Come in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, immediately suppress that trench with... Uh, personnel rounds, and you can see also that my the AGS is firing, my target. AGS Overwatch is firing upon the SPG position. Ready to engage. Now what I found really interesting Roger, about the off. German AGS is that it can actually, uh, the ordnance can actually explode in midair, or at least it seems like it can. It seems like it has airburst ordnance, and I know that the Mark 19 doesn't have that. So I thought that was really interesting. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a breach point for. Stand by for gas request. Uh. Roger and route to IP. For third platoon. Correction, second platoon. We're going to drop a JDAM on the wall. From target. I've created a breach point. Then I'm going to suppress the inside of the compound with small arms fire from the orchards adjacent to the um, compounds. Um, then I'm going to assault the compound with, with tactical bounds. That's my plan for assaulting that compound. So, here back on the airbase, I finally have managed to. Um, deal with all of the casualties from the AGS and from the RPG fires from earlier, and I'm now finally ready for a new offensive. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pop smoke across this open field, and I'm going to simply run across and hope that my overwatching elements suppress any contacts. Uh, meanwhile, while that's being set up, the weasels have dropped, and I'm just going to go ahead and reverse them behind the bird. section to support the assault on the right flank onto objective pincher. Now to the right flank, um, I'm maneuvering, maneuvering second platoon. They're pretty exhausted, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that order and get messed up a bit. Bad to come under fire when you're exhausted. You'll be much less effective at killing your at hitting your targets. Now the JDAM is arriving on station. I was actually a little impressed by the smoke screen that I was able to get out just with um, hand thrown smoke grenades. It's a pretty effective smoke screen. Just gonna rush my sections out in the open. The only thing I can do, I don't have any any alternative. There's no covered route to get there. Abgefeuert, come in. Abgefeuert, Ende. Meanwhile, the militia is still trying to attack me from the open fields. Um, there's only remnants of the Inbound company to attack. 30 seconds force that, uh, that originally attacked me. <laughs> still trying to heal this. 
assistant. I just can't figure oh, out oh, oh, where it is, and then I never do. So it's a futile effort. Now to finish off that militia with a stand by for catch and quest. quest. Roger, a route to attack position. Stand by, Abgefeuert. Comment. Abgefeuert. In the. Roger, a route to attack position. Cash one is in the spot. Roger, clear top. Second platoon on the right flank, they're now maneuvering to assault the compounds. Now, this position from which I'm assaulting is actually ideal because it provides defilade from Objective Doberman and it also provides, since I am working with the rush there, it provides some large assault. Roger, cleared hot. At a tech position, ingress to target. 
ready to engage. Roger. Cleared hot. Now to suppress the picture, fire tone missiles and auto cannon. Roger, cleared hot. At a tech position, I must say that I was target. I was relieved at the sort of firepower that these little vehicles had. Unfortunately, something snipes ready to engage out of the field. Roger, clear hot. Aggressive target. Two vehicles that I have in Overwatch become combat and effective rather quickly. Stand by for cash request. Roger, en route to the attack position. This is when I noticed that uh, the 20 meter ready to engage retreating down to the uh, defilade and Roger. Cleared hot. one of the crewmen was killed and the other one was wounded. I have no idea, I still have no idea what did it. There was no fire that I could see that was incoming and the enemy is far away. Um, the nearest objective is about 850 meters so very confusing what actually did the damage. And I was gonna use the weasels for direct fire support on good deck adventure. Depressing on target. Right that is coming down the road. But once I realized how weak they were, I just decided that I would keep them there. Roger, clear top. Uh, that's a casualty. Again, I have no idea where from. So these two vehicles are pretty much out of commission now. I mean, it could be a sniper. Stand by for gas request. Fire, fire. fire. This is Roger. It's, 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 it's that none of my Overwatch elements are actually spotting the enemy. Fire. So, 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 yeah, here is the contact with the forces and the forces inside the engage. Engage. There is a squad of forces. Roger, clear forces. I'm trying to suppress them. Ball, I have the lead, lead uh, section to suppress the contact. Assault the wind. Depressing pump target. 
back at the airbase and I spot a headquarters for the special forces. It's in a two-story um, observation force. So far, they've proven to be Small arms coming from the side of the compound on the side that faces the bridges. Trail elements of the platoon that originally landed. I'm now moving up to the trenches. And at the same time, we have another Tornado GR4 on station. And this is what I was waiting for to go ahead and knock out that uh, headquarters there. I'm going to immediately call in a JDAM on that headquarters building. Roger, en route to IP. on the airbase. Just as a precaution here, I'm going to be I'm going to be calling in an Apache to interdict the area by the by uh, objective Doberman. The reason for that is if the enemy HQ wants to run, uh, they're going to get interdicted. I don't have enough forces to completely pin them down at this time, but the Apaches will be effective at pinning them down if they try to run out of the building. Ten five for the Roger. Down. Route to a tech position. Also, I have just—I have finally discovered the AGS. 
Roger. one of the trenches here. He fired upon uh, soldiers from 1st platoon while they were engaging the enemy headquarters. Bound to attack. 30 seconds out. Nevertheless, I know where the contact is now. I'm going to interdict it with air force. And at the same time, the EGS is uh, suppressing and pinning down the enemy EGS. My EGS is pinning down their EGS, rather. Dash 2 is in the pub. Roger. Cleared hot. Ready to engage. 